Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that everyone will be fine. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the same topic that we have created before. And if you watched my previous video, it's almost identical. There are a lot of stuff that I have changed in an update. So I highly recommend you to guys to see this updated video I have in my tutorial. So if you visit my channel and that's where the link you see is Laravel 6.0. And I added up here the login, register, profile update. Uh, using Ajax and jQuery all from the scratch but the good thing is that guys this is again a fantastic video that's where I want to show you all the same things but there's a difference of forget password reset password and uh, add up some more uh, images as well for the profile so let's jump in and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to add my registration and here I add up my email and the password so once I click on the, uh, it says email already exists because my email already exists here. So I'm going to delete that one from here. So delete that up and uh, that's not the email basically. That's the email that I want to delete. So I'm going to delete that up and you see we have also add up the uh, registration. So again, I have refreshed the page even though I don't want it because we are using Ajax. So if I click um type my email and the password click on the sign in button and you see that the uh, confirmation email also added so user registered successfully and uh, we will we will if i just try to log in that up so let's go back to the login and um, add up my email here and one two three four five six and try to sign in you see verify your account first from email so I go to my email, I already opened that up and go to the confirmation email. That's where you see for my um, code. And if I click on the verify your email, then I want to give a redirect back to the login. And if you go to my database here, there you see now my status is active, is active, which is now one. All right, now if I just try to log in that and try to sign in, you see now we are redirect to our dashboard. And the good thing here is I added up an image as well. So that's the uh, delete photo and the change photo and all the other information that you want to add. You also see the uh, change password option. Um, you, you will easily grab from my previous video. So now I had the uh, change photo and whatever the image I want to add up here. So I just try to uh, save that. And if I just try to save it, now the image has been updated. Now if I just try to refresh that, still it works. Now if I want to change my username, um, you see the username has been updated successfully. Now if I just try to delete that, now it will add up my default image as well, right? So that's all the stuff that you guys can easily do. Now I'm just happy with that one. All right, so next, um, in case if you forget your password, we have worked with the email verification. Now, if I just re re uh, reset my password and uh, go to here, add up my email. Uh, first, I want to show you the email that not exists. So I just add up here, double five four, try to uh, check that out. And it, it must show the email sent successfully. All right, there might be an email as well with the double five four. Yeah, there is an email with a double five four. So unfortunately, I need to add something else. So, so I need to go to the reset password and add up here the email which don't exist. I'm very sure that email is not um, add up. So email not found, right? So that's also the check. And now if I just try to log with my real email, um, so it was check that out, email sent successfully, go back to the, uh, my um, forget email password, I go up here and go to the reset password and enter the password. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go to the reset password. And you see now our password has been successfully changed. Now, if I just try to log with my previous password, which is one to six and try to sign in with that, it says error occurred. Now, if I try to log in with my original email, 
and that's gonna work so I believe this is the tutorial the video that you will see and you will not find in into the entire YouTube channel that's for sure and I believe this is the video where you will learn a lot of stuff so the good thing is that here I want to give this whole code to you you can use in your projects anywhere else so um, but uh, but you have to keep remember that please support and like us and um, yeah, I also have a readable code um, I wanted to tell you I can't explain you through by writing each line but I try to just um, uh, just as much as I possibly can that to read the code read the difficult lines and give you some sort of um, possibilities some skimming as well inside the code and I believe you will guys will um, love a lot and that's it I want to see you in the next video